Welcome back, everybody. We're back in the kitchen with High Cotton. They're an upscale restaurant located on East Bay Street. You probably know it. You've probably been there a whole bunch of times. If not, go check it out because it is delicious. Today, Executive Chef Joe Palma preparing a local spring vegetable salad for us. A great example of some of the lighter cuisine at High Cotton. And this salad looks so delicious, Joe, and refreshing for spring. So we want to find out how it's made. You brought a smorgasbord of delicious things from local farms. South we Carolina, do. North Carolina farms. Right? This is a, a complete smorgasbord. Everything on this table came in yesterday. yesterday. Yesterday or this morning. We actually got the ramps in this morning. Can't get um, any fresher than that. No, not at all. We use primarily Blackbird Farms and Ambrose Farms, which you can find at both the Mount P Farmers Market as well as the Farmer Market downtown. Yeah. Um, we also are going to use a little bit of sunflower shoots, which are uh, delicious coming out of city roots up in Columbia, and Harris Teeter just started to carry those. So everything that you see here that we're going to do today Everybody can do it home. Well, it looks absolutely fantastic. I want to dive right into it. Now, this is kind of from the lighter menu because High Cotton, yes, they got those steaks, they got those burgers, the seafood is so good. But you guys have a little bit lighter fare as well. Absolutely. And, and we certainly uh, continue to offer what we have always offered. However, we're trying to look uh, a little bit, go in a little bit lighter vein, which I think a lot of people are looking for sure. um, in these more sort of health conscious times. A lot more olive oil, a lot more vinaigrettes. Um, a lot more acids and uh, herbal elements as opposed to just sort of pork and. But and you're not sacrificing taste because this is still going to be really delicious. If you can if you can cover something with um, animal fat and make it taste half as good as these vegetables, I I respectfully submit to you. <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. What's the first step here? Um, well, we're just using a nice light little uh, olive oil and lemon vinaigrette, which we're actually going to put on the bottom of the plate because sure. all these flavors. Um, all the vegetables, we want them to taste as they are. Obviously, we need a little bit of the vinaigrette to act as a uh, carrier of those flavors and a uniter of those flavors, but you don't want to ever take your um, dressing and use that to just kind of weigh all the vegetables down. You don't want to taste, you want to taste vegetables, you want to taste the salad, you don't actually Absolutely. want to taste uh, heavy stuff. So, uh, we've got some local, actually these are out of North Carolina, I lied. Um, local ramps here, which are a local little bit, uh, yeah, local enough. Um, got a nice little uh, garlic flavor to them. We have some cosmic carrots here. What is the, co the cosmic carrot? I've never heard of that until you just told me about that a couple minutes. Just a different varietal. It's got, uh, it's obviously purple on the outside and orange on the inside. We're going to have those arranged nicely on the plate. Mm -hmm. One of the nice ways of doing a composed salad like this, and you can obviously do this at home. I don't think I'm doing anything overly technical at this point. Um, just build it and you can you showcase the ingredients. They look a lot nicer and they're not covered up with any sort of heavy vinaigrette. Um, and you can just plate it a little bit nicer than you normally would. We've got some uh, fresh strawberries there that are coming out of Ambrose Farms. Really nice stuff that just popped up about a week and a half ago. We've got asparagus also from Ambrose. They're coming out. Really, really nice stuff. We have a few beets here. And we're going to actually salt and season the beets separately. Obviously, this is going to start to bleed everywhere. So, so. get some of those juices flowing and all exactly. that stuff. Exactly. And what we don't want to do is mix them up in the same bowl, and all of a sudden all your nice bright vegetables have uh -huh. juice all over them, which is not really the point. It's always nice to season your vegetables. Um, certainly root vegetables take that a little bit more than everything else. So we've got all of our nice vegetables there. We've got a little bit of sunchokes here, which is a root vegetable. Looks about like that. You can uh, slice it up. We kept on a little bit of lemon juice so it doesn't start to discolor It's a little horribly. added flavor there. I thought that was a potato. That's actually a, a root. What was it called again? Sunchoke. 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 And the idea of what we're trying to do here is um, we've got a lot of fresh flavors, but we're also using a whole bunch of different textures. Everything's not just crispy. Everything's not just soft. You kind of <coughs> use, those, use those textures in the same way that you would use um, any other flavor component, be it a fat, be it a uh, uh, acid or anything, right. to really keep the palate fresh. And then we're just going to have a few pieces of these nice beautiful watercress. This is what non-commercial, this is what actual watercress looks like. Obviously you see watercress in the uh, supermarket and it doesn't quite look like this. This is a little bit nicer. It's going to have a lot more crunch to it. It's going to have a lot more um, spice, a lot more pepper. All right. So it's not going to taste uh, quite as washed out as some of the stuff people Now that's already to. a work of art. Do you guys kind of practice plating these things or is it kind of just a free form? Well, I, I show it to them once and then they can figure it out over and over and over. And uh, if they need any <clears throat> any more guidance on there to provide that as now, well. Now, i got to ask you this. As executive chef here in Charleston, you have so much local produce uh, at your disposal mm -hmm. here. Do you guys just, I mean, how do you come up with these different combinations of flavors? Well, a lot of it, when you get, uh, when you have the farming partners that we do, they, honestly, they've done a lot of the work for us. Mm -hmm. uh, when we get stuff that's in as beautiful as this, we, we as chefs try and augment it and try and, and unite the flavors, but the flavors are already there. So, really, our job is sort of almost to get out of the way um, of all this nice stuff, of all the work that the farmers are done, obviously. That took 
what five minutes five and minutes Not everything even. to uh to grow everything on this table took them months and months right right um, so i just try to stay out of well, their we're way glad that you put it together because it looks absolutely fantastic go sure, check out you. high cotton the phone number website on your screen make sure you make reservations because it's a delightful restaurant a lot of people trying to get in there all the time but definitely worth it joe thank you so much for coming we absolutely. do appreciate it appreciate it pleasure all right up next get ready for some smooth blues with professor bottleneck and harmonica frank that's coming up after this